Hey guys, Travis here. During the third week of the LCS, I'm joined with Choster, uh, fresh off of a victory on uh, day two here. So Choster, it seems like CLG, you know, yesterday wasn't as strong. I know Kelby and the rest of the team was really torn up about it. Today you guys managed to pull out a win. Uh, are you happy about that win, or did you feel like it was a little too close? What are your thoughts generally? I'm happy that we won, but I still feel like we executed really poorly, and the game shouldn't have been as close as it was. We had a really good plan going in, and it didn't play out as well as we hoped. And hopefully the games, we just win more easily. I don't want it to be so close. Right. Yeah. Do you think that that's just like you guys getting acclimated to everybody's, you know, like the new the new roster? Or do you think it's you guys are just trying to adapt to like maybe, uh, you know, different champions, that kind of thing? Or what, what generally is holding back you guys from having this like perfect flow? I think we're trying to find the right way to practice. Because this week what we did is we actually scrimmed one team only mm -hmm. for like three days in a row. And we got a good practice out of it, but it was like for the wrong type of game. Most right. most LCS teams play differently. So yeah, we just need to play more teams than all of them. Did, was there any reason why you guys decided to go with like the one team alone thing? Or is it is it just sort of a preference you guys are just playing with it? Uh, it was sort of a preference. But also we just felt like scrimming certain teams wasn't beneficial. But I think that mentality is wrong and we need to change that. So you, I know that a lot of the top teams have sort of had this idea of like bottom four, top four. Do you think that that's still relevant or do you think it's starting to get to the point where like, oh, since they're best of ones, any, any team can take anything off of anyone? Uh, what I feel I realized today and yeah, basically is the bottom four and top four, they still exist. But the potential to beat one of the top four teams is very real and very possible at any time. You guys only have four days before this like mega week that they're talking about the big mu or the big Wednesday and of course uh, still Thursday and Friday. Do you guys prepare for specific teams then, or are you just trying to get like holistic uh, practice in? Like, what do you do before this big Wednesday? I think we need to focus on actually knowing what we want to play and a certain play style we want to do for the entire week, so we don't waste practice time. All right, so I don't want you to throw your teammate under the bus, but I do want to ask you about Hotshot because he's been a very hot topic okay, on uh, Reddit about you know whether or not he. There's always that Hotshot should bench himself, and Hotshot didn't play well, and Hotshot missed everyone with that Galio. What was that, right? So what what are your, what are your thoughts on Hotshot? You think he's he's you know trying to get in there? Or do you think that he gets more flack on Reddit than he should? Again, without throwing him under the bus. Uh, I think he gets a lot more flack than he deserves because, yeah, Hotshot plays a different style of top lane. He's he's just not carry oriented. He's not. He doesn't play like Boy Boy. He doesn't play like Manoon. His team doesn't rely. We don't rely on Hotshot to carry us, but we rely on him to help us win games. It's still it's a team game, and he plays an important role on our team. Okay. Good. Do you have any uh, shoutouts you want to make to fans or whoever? Uh, just shout out to our sponsors, uh, XMG, Razor, and Azubu, and also thanks to all the CLG fans out there. Very good. Well, hey, thanks a ton for the interview. Best of luck going into the Mega Wednesday uh, in just a couple days. For everyone here, you can check out the rest of our GameSpot coverage of the LCS at GameSpot.com slash LCS.